Listen, I realize some people are really good at playing shooters with thumbsticks. That doesn't mean that's the best way to do it. I mean, that, there are circus performers who can shove a god torch down their throat while balancing on a ball. Doesn't mean that's the best way to put out a fire, you know what I mean? Now, fortunately, the game does support the Wii Remote for aiming with the pointer. But for this review, I used the gamepad, as you can probably tell. It's like, it's like watching Stevie Wonder hunt moose! Anyway, this game was just released for the Wii U. It's identical to the versions from earlier this year. It's a port. So I guess the good news is you're getting the same HD game Xbox and PlayStation owners got. The bad news is you're getting the same game Xbox and PlayStation owners got. Only not as good, even. The thing is, I don't remember exactly what the PlayStation 3 game looked like. We reviewed it back in October. I don't even remember what I did yesterday, but I'm pretty sure it looked better than this. I know for a fact that it ran better. There are all kinds of frame rate issues and slowdown in the Wii U version, which, which sucks worse than hyena attacks. And believe me, those are a bummer. And going back to aiming, uh, man, the thumbstick controls in this game are terrible. I'm not even talking about thumbsticks in general. I mean, they're really floaty and loose in this specific game. And since the gamepad doesn't really add anything of note to this game, you'll definitely want to sync up your Wii remotes. You know, lend some precision to your otherwise indiscriminate slaughter. I, I gotta tell you, a lot of the third-party games being ported to Wii U right now are not very good. Not the games themselves, but the ports. Some of them are terrific, but this is not one of them. Dangerous Hunts 2013 is a good arcade shooter, but it's not a very good Wii U game. 